Last time I finished up the frame reinforcement and today I'll be working on the braces for the z-axis column. But first I have to make a small clearance hole in the base plate which will house the y-axis motor. I don't recommend doing this, but it did actually work pretty well once you get the hang of it, so there you go. This is purely for clearance, so precision isn't that important. Uh, it just seemed easier than trying to machine a giant sheet of aluminum on the mill. With that done, I can start work on the first of the braces. You'll see the tab at the bottom that pokes through the aluminum base plate. This is the mounting location for the Y-axis motor and needs to be partially below the plate to be in line with the ball screw.
This brace doesn't get a tab as it doesn't have a motor to hold. I reused the same cam from the last part, so I just skipped that portion where it milled the pocket for the motor. I grew tired of making do with that bottoming tap, so I bought a spiral flute tap which works much better. It pulls the metal out of the hole instead of cramming it into the bottom and packing up the flutes. The first fit went well, but I needed to shave a couple thousands off here and there. And there it is, the first portion of the column completed. Next I'll reinforce it and maybe even add a linear bearing plate, so stay tuned to find out. I want to say a huge thanks to Sunnyside CNC for their support on Patreon, it really means a lot. If you'd like to help support this project in these videos, check out the link in the description, and if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe and leave a like or a dislike and a comment below. I'll see you next time.